fastest two from the heats from Viet from Conkley from Hungary and Stephanie Millward from Great Britain. Maria Kukanova goes in lane number one. First of the Russian swimmers, Kazina Sobchak from Poland in two. Naraya Marquez Soto in lane number three. three. Maybe the favourite for this one, the youngster, Sofia Konkoli, 14-year-old from Hungary. Next to the reigning European champion, Stephanie Millward. She goes in lane five. Julia Goldachuk, another teenager from Israel, goes in lane six. And Julia Poshina from Russia in seven. Laura Martins Christensen in lane number eight. Well, Charlie Kearney holds the European record and the world record is held by the great Natalie Dutoy. And the world record, I would think, I think today, we will not be on the cards, but have a look at this young lady here, Naraya Marquez Soto, along with her Spanish teammate, Sarai Gascon. These two Spanish S9s have dominated this classification this week in the women's events. Well, you're absolutely right, Mike Paul. They've had a fantastic week. Clean start, and as predicted, well, it's the centre lane. So take it out. Well, Stephanie Millwood very much with her near camera and to the top. Well, near very stiff national competition she has within Spain with Soraya Gascon, the great Spanish swimmer. Gascon more suited to the sprint events. Marcus Soto, a bit more, bit more robust. Can handle the can handle the pressure of these longer events. Much more of a tactical affair, the 400 freestyle. Start off well, it looks like it's quite a cagey start. The swimmers, well, as Paul said, they're not going to be, well, I don't think they're going to be close to, close to Natalie. Paul, better around the wall than Steph Millwood. Marcus Soto has has a leg disability. She is missing the part of one leg, but the, the good leg that she does have, she uses it to she uses it to great effect. And she's just beginning to forge a champion for the last three championships. Won it for the first time in 2009, defended it in 2011, defended it again in 2014. But she has her work cut out here because the Spanish swimmer, Naraya Marquez Soto, is just edging the GB swimmer. Well, Conkley in the centre, I don't know if this is part of some race tactic. I've got to be honest, it doesn't look like it. She looks like she's having to work hard for what, she, for what she's getting. And when you're up against class like Millwood and Marquez Soto, you can't afford to let them get full body length in front of you by the halfway mark. She's got to really, really pull it back, put in a lot of effort just to get back to zero, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen to me. Well, Millward and Marcus Soto, they lead the field here as they have just come past halfway. They're going up to the 250 mark. And Millward looking very good here, Stephanie Millward. Just with that lead, and Naraya Marquez Soto now down in second position. Stephanie Moore, we're looking very good here, and she's got herself a handy 1.1 second lead and lead there. Well, Steph Millwood does look very comfortable indeed. Pretty good technically, hands come over and pierce the surface of the water quite well. With her impairment, it means that she's hasn't got quite the level of coordination that maybe maybe an able-bodied swimmer would have but she makes a fantastic job of use it making the most of what she's got coming now to the final 100 and well to be honest Paul 
unless she has an absolute disaster, I think she's got this one sewn up. Well, there's less than 100 metres to go now, and Stephanie Millard is pulling away from the rest of the field. She had an early contest against Soraya Marquez Soto and Sofia Conkley, but as this race has gone on, Stephanie Millward has gone ahead, and she has a lead now, has a lead now of something like four seconds, and it is increasing all the time. Stephanie Millward goes into the last turn of the of the women's 400 freestyle S9 with a it certainly does I don't think it's going to be a European record but I don't think she's going to be massively far off it well well this is Stephanie Melwood of Great Britain bringing it home now on the 400 meters free just starting to falter a little bit the hand starting to enter the water a little bit flatter than it did 200 meters ago Paul into the last five now. European Championship gold in this event in a row. What a fantastic swim there from Stephanie Millward. It's Noraya Marquez Soto. Marquez Soto in a silver medal position for Spain and Sofia Conkley for Hungary with the bronze. What a great swim from Stephanie Millward. Right, it was Champion indeed. Well, she, <laughs> she obviously left it. All in the pool, look very impressed with her swim. It's been a very, very long week for her. And congratulations. Oh, fantastic, oh, fantastic to see the swimmers here. Great rivalries, but also great friends at the end of the, at the end of the day. And the other swimmers now just coming in. Oh, Stephanie Millward taking it all in her straight. Taking it all in her stride. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? You know, you got the, uh, you know, the European record holder Tully Kearney isn't here. Yeah, you win the European Championships, but you know that you've still got to go faster if you want to be, you know, best in the world, which is where all these swimmers really want to be, and, and they're all looking forward to Rio, of course, Paralympic game. Well, she breathed out of every turn. Possibly could have kept her head down there and squeezed a little bit more time out. Millward coming in to the finish now. She was away and clear ahead of the other competitors in this one. And she takes another European title. Well done, Stephanie Millward. That is a great swim from the GB swimmer. Stephanie Millward takes hold in the women's 400 freestyle S9, her fourth European Championship title in a row, ahead of Mariah Marcus Soto at Sofia Conkley. Well, we didn't see that one coming, Joe. Stephanie Millward, a great show, and that's the fastest time this year 